Welcome to another episode of Being Sexy and Playing Video Games. Today we will be playing episode 2 of The Quarry. Last uh, we left off on was June 25th, I'm pretty sure. Maybe not wrong. As Laura and Max and Max got attacked by what I am presuming to be a werewolf since we saw a full moon. Everything is very intentional in this game. Nothing is an accident. Eh, I feel like sometimes there's accidents. But, um, yeah, here's episode two. Max got got, and we got got as well by the police. Got got, got got. Okay, and that's all I have to say for episode one. Episode two, I, I don't know if we'll see many more of Max and Laura, because they're gone. Like, they just got got. Like, what? I don't think we can play them if they're gone. But let's get right into it. Woohoo! Woohoo! We're still in the pro prologue, bro. I couldn't make no. that the part. Shame. Though I suppose it's your decision to make, and really, that's the whole point, isn't it? Andrew wants this. Uh, she's gonna talk more. Okay, so maybe. Ooh, I don't know. There are secrets out there, you know. Ooh. Secrets and lies. Paths to uncover on which I can shed light if you let me. Help me help you. And remember, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Okay, so I guess the game didn't save when I quit to the menu, so it made me replay the ladies scene. Okay, now I know. <laughs> I'm done with it. Cool. I could score forever. Chapter one. It looks good. Seconds. See you later, kids. Yeah, hack its quarry forever. So it's been two months. <laughs> you know how many hearts are broken on the last day of summer camp? It's like a romance apocalypse. Hmm. I mean, you never know. The universe has a kind of way of uh, working these things out. The universe? Yeah, like the uh, the cosmic. Space gods. Space gods. You heard me. Okay, spell it. It's nothing to spell. You know, we're cool. Oh, so cool. We are super cool. So she dumped her ass, huh? Bruh. <laughs> okay. Quit it. Hi, Emma. Hey. <laughs> she dumped okay, us? Okay, this is, um... You've heard of... Spatial awareness before, yeah. right? Spatial awareness is for nerds. Uh, be a lamb and grab the last couple of bags, will you? Yes, boss. Say hi to Emma for me. You're a bad person. Yes, I am. I'm gonna walk around. Okay, so... Whoa. Oh, hey. This is Emma's. Cute watch. So, so camp camp counselors got nap. We continued summer camp like normal. Police is a dirty cop. Okay. Oh, fuck. oh my god. Oh, fuck you, you spider fuck. Oh, you scared me. I'm not gonna squash it. We already know what happens when you mess with nature.
Yeah, you better run. <laughs> okay, let's walk around some more. Where does she want me to get the bags from? I'm gonna need to... So the car that was here is... Uh, wood in the cave make you stronger. Uh, how get scrap material. So this is... Well, obviously... Hack it property. But like that's I wonder what's killing the deer. And camp owners scar right? Deer hunting canceled this year. I thought that's what was dead in the shed, right? Here's a there was a deer or a moose. I assumed it was a moose because of the the size of the body. But fuck if I know. What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Not in the mood sign. Okay, let's go into our little free place. There's dark as shit in here. Is it locked in? Is it like super heavy duty lock? No. It looks normal. Hey. Hey. <clears throat> hey, what are you uh what are you listening to? Good to know. Okay. What'd you hear? You know what I heard? I heard the Habas were on fire and before they knew it the whole place was in flames. Fire. Just mentions of fire. I'll keep that in mind though. Oh man. Jesus Christ. Hey. Hey, are you guys gonna help with the bags or what? Oh, um, you know, I was actually just working on fixing uh the door. It's Dylan, come it's on. Broken. Dylan, please. I can't. It's, it's... I gotta get the last bags What's in there. Come wrong on. with this thing? It's just Dylan, frozen. please. Sorry, bro. Sorry, bro. We've cool. got an Aussie. Got an Aussie. Okay, so we're clearly characters here, and we're clearly gonna have to deal with what happened to Laura and Max. I wonder how we're gonna even end up being here. We're leaving. We're leaving. Skill. <sighs> Ugh, horror. I hate horror. Just like a small quaint little library that's cute i think that's pretty cute i think that's pretty cute this is nothing so no 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 we're all on the same floor right now this uh I'm exploring, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for my taking too long.
I'm sorry, but I want to explore. I don't know what pushes the story forward and what doesn't. Okay, those are the bags, so I mustn't touch yet. Huh? Hey, hello. Hello. I'm gonna walk around some more though. Sorry, dude. Maybe I should have dug them. Eh, there's nothing over here. Boring! Boring! Okay. Hello. Okay, really, dude? Locking me out? Okay, in my defense, A, it was Dylan's idea, and two, it was really funny. Oh, yeah, right. Is that is that right? I don't write the rules, man. Okay, whatever. Look, are you gonna help me with the bags or what? Nah, I gotta stay here and wait for Mr. H to return our cell phone. Sorry. Jesus Christ. Okay, and why are the stairs blocked? Well, apparently it's to keep raccoons and other pesky varmints from ransacking the place. Uh, Mr. H's words, not mine. Oh! Boring! I just wanted to walk back here. Okay, so he took up our phones for the entire summer camp? Bro, that's crazy. I guess not. But we don't even get signal out here. Is that you, Dylan? I can only deal with one shit at a time, Jacob. Oh, he's saying your shit, bro. Okay. I think that's all I could do. Dialogue. I don't think there's anything interesting to find while walking around. Brr. All these pillars locked down. Ooh. This place needs a serious overhaul. Oh. Jesus. Uh-uh, that didn't scare me at all. You're you're scary cat. Okay, let's grab the dope bag. Let's go. <clears throat> so we all rode in together? Alright. Mm. Got the bags. Great. All by yourself, huh? Yep. Oh. Guess you're gonna have to get used to that. Oh my god. You are so oh mean. Oh my god, that's so mean. At least I'm honest. Oh. Okay, here we go. Okay, you're not telling me the whole truth about you and Emma, are you, son? Oh, okay. So now I'm the one who's not telling the whole story, huh? <laughs> oh, well, this is the bait I just gotta take, Jake. Oh. Oh, sorry, I just got so distracted about that rhyme, I forgot what we oh, were- Oh, no, 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 uh, you, you were telling me how you totally have a thing for Ryan. Wait, are we talking about Ryan, the sailing instructor with the sexy brooding loner thing that totally doesn't do anything for me at all? Ah, <laughs> oh, sexy, huh? Hottest at camp, by far. <laughs> okay, sure. Look, it was all settled by the girls in bunk seven, like, second day of camp. It goes Ryan, me, of course, then Dylan, Emma, Abby, Okay. Nick, and then Mr. H, and... Okay, are you almost finished? Please? Yep, that's it. That's everyone. So she really just dumped her ass, huh? I don't... Okay. Her whole thing is like, how are we gonna make this work? Different schools, blah, blah, blah. My whole thing is like, you know... Maybe long distance, blah, 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 blah. And she was just like, <laughs> Jacob. She gave you the look, huh? Yeah, do not pass go. Man, she just got you wrapped all the way around that dainty little finger of hers. How does she do it? <laughs> okay, okay, you know what? Maybe you're right. Maybe she does have, like, this superpower over me. But you know what? Maybe I like it. <laughs> oh, likes it. Check. Totally not in denial. Oh, Check. Okay. Wow, the um the fumes of, of jealousy are just stifling over <laughs> Excuse here. Excuse me? I'm just saying, I guess some girls don't have what it takes to hang with the big dog. 
<laughs> You're a real charmer, you know that? Look, I'm just saying, I don't know why you didn't make a move on Ryan. You should have seized the moment. <sighs> Well, can't seize the moment that never happened. Yeah, well, you can't wait for it to come to you. You gotta make the moment happen yourself. Oh, right. Chase the moment around all summer like a dog with two dicks until it dumps you on the last day of camp. Okay. Not gonna miss you, Caitlin. <laughs> okay, so are we sure that this old rust bucket's roadworthy? <laughs> we'll take a look. It better be. One more night in the great outdoors might actually kill me. Hey, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Well, I haven't killed you. Yet. And you're still pretty pathetic. Hey, shut up. <clears throat> uh, okay, so, um, total hypothetical, but if I was, like, a huge asshole and I wanted to break down the van so we'd have to spend another night here, uh, Bruh. what exactly would I need to do? Well, you'd probably break the fuel line or, I don't know, rip out the rotor arm. And yes, that would make you a total asshole. Okay, and what does a rotor arm look like again? It's like a arm that's all rotary. You know, it's under the little black dome with the leads poking out. Jake, you do realize that even if we somehow did get stuck out here, one more night with Emma wouldn't make a difference. Trust me, Chick's made up her mind. Okay, yeah. so this is how we're getting stuck. Sure. It's me. I guess we'll just have to find out. The tiny. Oh, yeah. Come on with me, buddy. I'll put you right back tomorrow. No harm, no foul. Up here, my dudes. Why did they look like they're up to something? Hey, Jacob. What? No, dude, please. D don't, don't. Go long. Oh, Nick. <laughs> Boom. Oh. oh. There it is. Oh, <laughs> man, good sign. Ooh. Freak. Oh. Oh. Ooh, I wish I had some singles. Oh. Freaks. Mm. I'm surrounded by freaks. Mm. Oh, thank God. I mean, I get the whole no technology thing, but take me back, world. You would have thought Mr. H could have, like, charged up our phones, like, a little bit. Nothing's ever your fault, is it? <laughs> you know, you should really just save it for emergencies only. <laughs> Unless, of course, is being dumped an emergency. Oh, Ben. <laughs> oh. Uh, okay, well, at least I had a relationship this summer. Ooh, damn, now we burn. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe not everyone is looking for a hookup. Okay, 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 let's all put our little dicks away and get this show on the road, huh? Where's everybody else? Why, why would I know that? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you know stuff I don't. Look, I don't... I don't even know how to respond to that. You say, Nick, you're way smarter than me, and you're a super hot stud who gets any cheeky ones. Okay, yeah, keep dreaming, Junior. <laughs> okay, so now we're stuck here. God damn it! No one knows yet, though, so. But we're stuck here, we're stuck here, we're gonna be stuck here. Hey there, party bear. Status report? We are officially empty nesters. High five up top. Awesome high five. Oh boy, you're about to get your phone back, aren't you? Let's go collect our bags and away from this mosquito-infested backwoods dump. Doors locked, bags inside. <sighs> Fuck me. Yep. Why? Why is it locked? Well, it's obvious what we have to do here. Find someone with a key? Shape our destiny. And by shape our destiny, I mean shape our way through this crappy lock and grab our bags.
Okay. Let's do it. We better not get into trouble. I won't tell if you won't tell. Mr. Hackett's gonna find out. So what? I'll just think it was a bear or something. Have you ever seen a bear in these woods? No, uh -uh. but that doesn't mean they're not out there. Fair point. All right, let's do this. On three. One. Two. Three! Ugh. Mm. All about the power of positive thinking. Why do I ever listen to you? Because I'm always right. Are you sure they're gonna think it was a bear? Oh, my God, relax. It's not like we killed someone. All right, well, I'm just gonna take another look around, make sure we didn't miss anything. Go nuts. Aw. This was little Izzy's. Okay, scary bitch. <laughs> I'll keep it. Let's get you back to Izzy. Wait, maybe I shouldn't keep it. What if we're, like, in a dangerous situation? But the only reason it talks is if you pull it, right? So, like, I don't think we'll get caught by it. If it comes to be that, um, something's going on. Freak show goes up in flames. <laughs> Why would this place be in the news? Dozens killed, did I say? I'll check it out later. I'll check it out at the end of the video, guys. It's okay. Oh. Can't believe I'm actually gonna miss all those lumpy loose springs. Yeah, I'd probably miss it too if I went to a camp for a couple months. I gotta go. Whee! Whoa, whoa. Okay, let's see what's up. Obviously, she went that way, so I'm gonna go the opposite way. If this lets me go up, even. Ooh, it did let me go up. I'm gonna do all the exploring that I can right now. I'm locking in. Okay, so obviously, there was a fire. Killed people. Now we have a ghost lady searching for a Silas, and that's about it. And we talked to her. Hey, you stop <gasps> that! <sighs> okay, relax. It's just a crow. Well, I don't know what that does. So maybe it's like really important, and I'm throwing. What is this? What am I doing? What are we doing? Oh. It's gonna be weird not waking up to Dylan's morning announcements. Oh, so it's like a TV, radio, okay, broadcasting station. <laughs> Dude, something was there. I was just wasn't paying enough attention. It happened too fast. Um, okay. There's a fire. There's fucking werewolves. And the police are dirty cops. What does the police- what does that officer have anything to do with the- I don't know. He has something to do with the packets. Cause why else would he give a fuck about- us not going to the camp on the day of the full moon when werewolves come out. Mm hmm. Trying to make sense of it. Dylan is not going to be happy that the kids just like this one. <laughs> I'll tell Chris about it when we see him. That was scary, little fuck. go around all of them, I guess.
Oh, why did they do that? Jacob plus Emma forever. Ouch. Summer. So Jacob hasn't seen Whoa. this. Huh? Ugh. Ugh, what is that? Is it Dylan's? Ugh. Ugh. So clearly something's a little bit someone's a little bit of a smugger here. Huh. Mm. Bro, I would have been at the pool all summer long. Me as if it's not summer right now and I'm not at the pool. Bruh. Bruh. I don't think there's anything to do here though. Yeah. Oh, there she is. I was, like, I was kind of wondering. What's this though? What's this little path? Oh, just spins. Okay, nothing. Okay. I don't think anyone knocked Caitlin out of first place all summer. Sorry, that took so long, Emma. This is beautiful. I'd love to be here. Ready to roll? Let's do it. Finally! I'm driving. Time awesome. to let loose and vamoose this caboose. How are you so dramatic? Annoying. Confident. It's just acting. It's what the people want. So you're faking it? I mean, in a way, faking it is just being yourself, but louder. You should try it sometime. You never know who you might impress. No. <laughs> it's too late now, anyway. For what? You and Nick? You never Which know is Nick? to put yourself out there. The Aussie. <gasps> oh, oh, wow! Oh. <gasps> nice steering, Tex. We're from Jinkies. Texas. Okay, so hypothetically, if I were to put myself out there, what if he ends up being a dud? Kind of like you and Jacob. He's actually really sweet then why'd you quit it summer fling we're going to school like four states away I, he gets it yeah sure but that's us you and nick could be different when you get his handle hit him up oh i already have his email it was in the packet they gave to us on the first day. his email email are you 93 what's wrong with email <laughs> i'm really gonna miss you abby Oh, uh, but the lodge is that way. Go right here. Why? Come on, scenic route? One last victory lap around the camp? Fine. I'll say yes. Yes. Sure. What's the, the lodge is right there, too. Two months. No technology. I kind of thought it was nice to be offline. Ugh, I didn't. Plus, my subs need me. You know what? I actually believe you. Abby, was that a compliment? Your charm is infectious, what can I say? <laughs> I'd subscribe. You better. As soon as you get home, sub, share, smash that like button. The holy trinity. Okay, well now I'm really regretting it. Oh no, you love me. <laughs> My favorite spot? The fire pit? The island. Mad secluded, right? Is... Is that smoke? Should we tell someone? Mm, it looks pretty contained. It's probably just Mr. H burning some stuff before, you know, he closes camp for the summer. Yeah. Speaking of which, we should... We should probably, you know, get back. Oh, yeah. Worried Nick's, you know, 
We're gonna leave it at you. Well, no, they're probably like all waiting for us. Mm hmm. Everyone's waiting for us. Everyone. Yeah. <laughs> Nick, waiting for you. All, everyone, same. <laughs> Okay, what the frick? Guys, what the frick? <sighs> mm. I'm liking everybody's relationship with everybody. Everyone, I'm liking all the characters. Don't worry, Jacob. I got you. I got a full tank of gas, so. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, it's oh, them. idiot. <laughs> Does nobody own phone chargers anymore? It, there's no signal out here anyways, dude, okay? This place is like patchy as balls. <sighs> Your balls are patchy? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's okay, I'll just go get some juice from Mr. H before we go. And... Uh, ew. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Nick. Hey, where were you guys? <gasps> Wouldn't you like to know? Ignore her, please. Let's go. You don't have a charger in the Just car. Just gotta get these bags up onto the. Oh, hey, hey, here. Let me um, let me get it for you. I can take care of my own bag, thank you. What? Are you sure? Because I mean, it's really not that big. She of a can deal. take care of her own bag, thank you. We can both take care of our own bag, thank you. Cool. Damn. All your summer clothes are in there? That's kind of crazy work. I don't know. Uh, uh, Abby, do you need... Yeah. Can I... <laughs> Can I just you? throw it? <laughs> I just throw it at him. So silly. <laughs> hey, has anyone seen Ryan? He's down oh, there. Yeah, he's probably off being all brooding and mysterious and alluring somewhere. <laughs> I'm here. Oh, man. What were you doing under there? Having a little me party? Uh, I was listening to a podcast, actually. Oh, podcast. Nice. That's cool. What's it about? Yeah, what's it about? Is it about me? You think I was listening to a podcast about you? Okay, if anyone you're at a podcast about them, it'd be me. Yeah, if there was a podcast called How to Look and Smell Like a Butt. <laughs> God, you are so childish. At least I don't look and smell like a butt. No, it's a, it's a paranormal podcast. Th this episode was actually about this place, weirdly enough. Hmm? The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. The who of the what's it where now? What's the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? The lady you don't know I about met. the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Uh, if I did, would I be asking them ask? Everybody knows about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Tell her about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. <laughs> Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Uh, I don't think she wants to know about the Hag of Hackett's <laughs> oh, Quarry. Can we just please stop saying the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? It's just this campfire story for the kids. It's, um, they're supposedly an old woman who died oh, in a fire a few okay. years back. She haunts the woods looking for her lost baby boy. There are like reports of whispers or whatever, and then this figure that floats around, you know, texting okay. and stuff. Who well, good Some to know. people say that if she catches you alone, she'll try to turn you into her son or kill you or something. I don't know, it's never really been clear. Anyways. Haga Haggett's Corey. You made that up. It's right here in the podcast, man. I just sure pinned down. Cool story, like bro. That. Seriously, though, you should have seen the first time you told the story to the kids at the campfire. They were scarred for life. I mean, not for <laughs> life. You gotta be careful with this stuff, man. This shit's true. Come on, dude, bullshit. What's the holdup, Hacketeers? Uh, yeah, uh, nearly done, Mr. H. Or hop to it. Get those butts in gear. It's a very small face. Sorry, like, Mr. H. Yeah, to liberate some luggage. Shut up. Maybe if somebody didn't spend so much time trying to press the ladies' ball as ghost stories. You asked. Ghost stories? 
The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Oh! <sighs> hey, you still have the van key, Mr. H? Well, yes, I do. But you know, I'd lose my head if it wasn't stuck on. Back to the office I go. Give me a hand, would you, Ryan? Oh, okay. Yo, Mr. H. What's up, DJ Dylan? Any chance I could get a little charge? I want to have some uh, tunes for the road. No can do. Cool, cool, yeah. No worries. Good man. Uh, no big deal. You can share my earbuds. Okay, so the lady we've met is the lady that died. She is the hag of Packard's quarry. So, uh, Chris, I I'm actually glad we got a moment to talk. Uh, uh-oh. I'm not fired, am I? <laughs> no, no, it's, um, it's just, you know, about the whole thing w with the... With the what? With the what? With the what? Hold that thought, partner. I'm gonna have to take this. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, sorry. Hello. Sorry about that, bud. Sorry about that, bud. Didn't mean to push you out like that. Bro, I would've been caught snooping, huh? You would've hired me. You, uh, you need a hand looking for the keys? Uh, no, end of summer, busy, busy, you know. Anyway, you were asking me? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it was just the whole animation school thing, what you thought I should do. Right. Y you know, listen, uh, whether or not I should, like, leave my sister with my grandparents, since I'd have to live on campus, you know. My mom's not exactly around, so I wouldn't want to leave Sarah on her own. You know, fam our family's small enough as it is. Well, family is important, Ryan. Dang it. Is everything okay? You got a hot day tonight? Bro. Oh boy. If you only knew. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean by that? So, uh, what, what did you need me for? Right? You're one of my favorite counselors, Ryan. You know that. One of the good ones. Ooh. But, do you know how many calls I get from parents? Letter after letter. With these terrified kids that they send home. Oh, they're scared uh, of my stories? I, I, Sorry. I didn't realize that. Believe it or not, scaring kids away from sleepaway camp is kind of bad for business. So maybe just ease up on the ghost stories? Sorry. I didn't realize it was such a big deal. Gotta understand the repercussions of your actions, Buster. It's a big part of being a counselor, a leader. Yeah. Just stick to kumbaya next time, okay? What's that? Bruh. You guys don't do kumbaya anymore? Good grief. I'm outgrowing my own cliches. Seriously, Chris, what's going on? I just want to get you guys safely out of Dodge before the sun goes down. Totally, yeah. Best to get you all out of harm's way. Woods are chock full of live game and local hunters hop to it the second camp's over. It's not safe. Oh. Hmm. Hmm, yeah, hmm. Where in the good goddamn are they? So clearly we, Ryan, we really look up to him. Because we're telling him about our personal life. Can you say goodbye to Caleb and Kaylee for me? Please. 
sort of just snuck off. Well, you'll see him again next year. Caleb works at the scrapyard during the off season, and Kaylee, well, she's still figuring out what she wants to do. She's got her whole life ahead of her. I said, it looks so weird. They both just come and go as they please, really. Teenagers, am I right? Actually, could have used the help packing up since we were short staffed. Hey, you guys seem to manage all right. But I'll tell them both you were sad you missed them. Unlocked the van, put the keys in my pocket, came in the office. Bruh. Are you right playing in my face? You suck. Uh, you suck at home. Let's skedaddle. I think the hour was like 18, so it's like 6 o'clock. Bro, like the sun is literally almost down. Like, what are you talking about? I'm trying to get us out as soon as possible. You suck us. Make sure <sighs> they're all ready to go. For real this time. Is he going to leave? That means he was here. If that's his car, that means he was here. The night that Laura Wait, and Max. Wait, how did you get your phone back before the rest of us? I never turned it in. You sure did turn it off before you handed it in, Dylan. Them's the rules, you noob. <laughs> I try not to dwell on the past, man. Good. Because it's time to dwell on the minivan. Get on with our respective lives. Move it. Let's go. What's the problem? Ugh, dude, I don't know. I, I think there's something wrong with the engine, Mr. H. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, dude, it's just like kaput. All right, let me Bruh. try. What, dude, I'm telling you, all right, it's busted. Well, maybe you're doing well, it wrong. Well, maybe you're doing it wrong. The fuck, dude? Enough, enough, both of you. Shit, come on, all right, come dude, on. Chill, chill, Let's go. dude. <sighs> Why do you need to close the door? I thought I told you kids to check everything. We did. It, it should be working. Yeah, well, coulda and shoulda doesn't mean it is, does it? Oh, okay. Damn it! So you're, you're, a little, you're a little freaky about getting us out before the sun sets and the moon comes out. Okay. Is there a full moon? Is there a full moon? Okay. Uh, look, it's not that big of a deal, okay? We'll just spend one more night here. No! No! Just stop! Let me think. Hmm. Does he know about the werewolf? Ah! He must know. It was trapped under his launch. Okay. Damn it. Who is Ian? You're right. You're right. Yeah. Who the fuck is Ian? What? Yeah, you're right. What is this? Hey, Brian, come here for a sec. Make sure that everybody is inside the lodge for tonight. Lock the doors. No one in, no one out. No one. Got it? Okay. I'll be back first thing in the morning, and we'll get you all on the road. You just have to keep everyone inside. Can you promise me you'll do that? Yeah, sure. We'll, we'll stay inside. And a boy. Lock the doors. And for God's sake, keep the noise down. My heart just sunk. We're fucking trapped here. So, this dude knows about the werewolf about? stuff. He, uh, said to stay inside. That we're not leaving until the morning. Ooh. Are you kidding me? Um. Are you kidding me? What are we supposed to do? Well, we should go inside, like he said. We could go inside until morning. Yeah. Oh or my god. Or we could do something else. No, 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 no. We should really listen to what Chris told us to do. 
Of course. Uh, who cares what Chris told us to do? He's not our boss anymore. P A R T. Why the fuck not? All right, it seems like the stars have aligned for us, no? Okay, okay, okay. One last epic bonfire blowout for all time. Oh, dude. Fuck yes, I'm in, Nick. You're in. Yeah, I'm in. Dylan's <laughs> in, obviously. My man, Caitlin. I go where my people need me. Yeah, okay. M, what do you say? Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm in. Mr. Hackett seemed pretty insistent we stay in the lodge. He, he was just trying to freak us out, you know? Like, um, like one of Ryan's stupid ghost stories. Why would he want to scare us? <laughs> All right. I don't think he was trying to freak us out, Jacob. I think he was really freaked out by something. Jesus Christ. Chris seemed real serious about this, guys. Just say you're in, man. Come on, one last night. Yeah, dude, he won't even know. I, I promised. I no, 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 D dude, dude, it's all good. All right, we get it. You know, you, uh, you don't want to disappoint Daddy. Whatever, man. It's gonna be fine, man. Trust me. It's gonna be chill. All right, all right, all right. Hacketeers. Party planning committee, let's do this. Um, okay, first things first. Nick and Abby, you go get some firewood. Uh, M and I will go to the stores for some supplies. And uh, Dylan, you just, I don't know, figure out how to charge the phones for something. All right, let's do this. Hmm. I try to fight him, but. So we got, we got, we got scopes on the fucking, on the fucking place. This is broad daylight, is it not? This is not nighttime. This is right now. Oh my god. Ugh. It's just like hunting something. Yo! Oh my god, I was gonna say it says hunting season, but I don't. Why would they put season on it? Whatever. Oh, I'm so smart. Okay. Okay. She's asleep. I was hoping oh. you'd come <laughs> back to me. Let's see what you've found. And I don't think it's her card. You need to look around you, find my cards, and I can help you. Where I'm oh, from, I we missed look the up card. For find them, please. I'm sorry. What if I just don't find any of them on, on purpose? Like, I look at them and I don't pick them up. Well, I guess it picks it up on its own, You right? better be going. It's still early and the moon is bright, but time won't wait. Not for those with a story to tell. Be careful. Look out for yourselves. And look out for my cards. Hmm. Bye. Is that it for chapter one, episode two of The Quarry? Oh, I missed a card. I'm very disappointed in myself. Let's see the evidence we've got so far. We've only had one out of the ten pieces of evidence we can get. For the clues, for the freak show fire, we've collected a three out of the nine. Um, The third being wet, no clue, huh? <gasps> nothing. 
Okay. Uh, oh, and then use paper scrap. Bruh. I just, I don't know why I couldn't see it. This is right there. Hacket history, still zip. And for cap history, we got a five. Some awesome work, guys. So that means I must have missed one right here. And fuck it, take art. The tarot card as well. Let's see. Yeah, nothing about the law no fun a fool's errand jacob removed the rotor arm and the minivan the minivan failed to start so the counselor is gonna leave heck it's quarry down the rabbit hole abby chose to help emma break into the cabin abby was able to explore inside the cabin abby put the forgotten toy in her bag down the rabbit hole oh this is scary something toys with you but perhaps you can turn the tables by following a path unknown remember findings that seem insignificant would could be could well be your last hope of survival <gasps> like the bear thing i could probably use it <gasps> the trick i could throw it oh my god i'm so smart <gasps> a fool's errand jacob and all right the like jacob and the video nasty yeah the dude the jacob and emma Playing the fools, playing the fool has both vices and virtues, but all decisions lead to consequences. And if ignorance is bliss, what does that make foolishness? Stupid is as stupid dies. Do that. Um, above the law. I didn't get to read these last time, so I'm gonna read them right now. A shot in the dark could come back to haunt you. With the long arm of the law ever extending, whether it holds a gun or an olive branch at the end is up to you. So it's up to me to talk to him nicely so that he extends an arm instead of a gun. Love at first fry, journey through all the twists and turns of young love and discover just how much a relationship can endure. Which one am I missing? Did I open a different one? Oh, there we go. Keepsakes. Jacob picked up Emma's silver bracelet. Cherish or perish? A cherished keepsake worth dying for. Experience the power of nostalgia. It might just help you survive. Hopefully it won't end up as something to remember you by oh, oh read my path just the bracelet right yeah okay what about camp um oh i'm i closed the door here camp oh look unlock the camp cabins and the camp store where i'm at right now okay so we're behind the lounge and for the tarot, I've only collected one, unfortunately. But that is it. We, Jacob is the fool. But that is it to the first chapter of the quarry, episode two for me. Thank you very much for watching this one. I am very excited to move forward with the game. Very exciting. I'm liking all the evidence. I'm liking all this stuff. Mm -mm -mm, rub my little hands like a mosquito. Also, I took all my nails off. It lasted me a month and some. I need to take this one off. This on there type. But, sorry, I don't know. Got distracted. But that's it for episode two. Very excited for episode three for me. Chapter two for them. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.